Hello guys, I'd like to welcome you to video 8 of this tiger face project. It's finally looking like a tiger now. Um, I made some adjustments to the proportions up by the eyebrows and the cheekbones. Um, basically built that out a little bit and then I added all the hair texture on the face. And I kind of like how it turned out. Um, from here, it just needs some paint, you know, so I can paint all the intricate patterns and stuff on. But it definitely looks like a cat anyways, whereas before it didn't look much like uh, a tiger at all. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I went about doing this and getting this to look finally like a tiger. Starting off, I put six pieces of clay on and these are basically guides for example the bottom two pieces of clay for the cheekbones basically what that is telling me is that's my set height and position that I want to build a mound up so I just put those two pieces of clay down and build up all around it and kind of make it flow into everything else a little more natural using just small pieces of clay and this really, I'm, I'm, I'm amazed how much that helped because it really wasn't looking how I wanted it to look at all. And after everything's kind of pressed down and squished, all the little pieces are squished together pretty good. If you um, condition some clay up in your fingers and get it nice and hot, you can spread it across kind of like butter. Uh, it's a lot easier than trying to work those pieces together. Then I wanted to do something with the nose. It was way too squared and just had I haven't given it the attention it needed. So I basically shaved it, you know, rounded it off a little bit and I got that um angle back in the cat's nose. You know, all cats have it. It looks like they got a broken nose. In fact, I even cut it more off camera, which kind of gave it a low profile nose. But I like how it turned out. Now I'm starting the texture. Now I'm using this weird tool right here and basically what I'm doing is I'm cutting into the clay to make the, the texture and I didn't like it. It was very very messy. So I quickly switched to a stylus tool. This came out of a, from a stylus set. The little ballpoint stylus tools. Just a common set. It came with like this needle tool. So I really liked how it was look how it was looking and what's really really cool about using this tool is you can go over the same areas over and over and it doesn't really damage anything which is really really good. If I was to cut all this stuff on I probably would have wound up with no clay left. The trick to doing this was basically trying to get a hair direction and to do that I just basically drew on to the sculpture the hair patterns how I saw them and tried to follow that when I'm making these little slashes here's a little section of me striking the clay in slow motion I know I don't normally do slow motion but I figured you'd like to see how I go about doing it at first I, I didn't really you know think it was gonna work too well but the more I did this it just looked more and more better as I went I guess it's just one of those things you have to go through and texture the whole thing and see how it looks you can't just do a little area and especially if you get the the hair direction looking right I think that's helping it out a lot too I didn't really like how the nose turned out just below the nose I think what I did wrong was um, which I already kind of corrected a little bit was the slashes were a little too long I should have used you know a smaller pattern for that area and it's too linear it's got to be more sporadic and broke up like uh, like the bridge of the nose and, and everything 
in this part right here I'm just dragging a wire brush real firm and in a deliberate manner across that back layer of hair and I think it really tied it all together real nicely as you can see in this close-up um, and then the last thing was the chin just cut some gouges into it and then line some hair details into it and that's pretty much it for this video I really appreciate you guys for checking this out it means a lot um, very curious what you have to say as far as how it looks now and I will see you here again soon thank you so much for watching